Welcome to our lesson number 10, Controlling Batter by Photoresistor. Introduction. Since you have learned how to use a photoresistor, in this lesson, you will learn how to control a buzzer to make it beep in different frequencies by the photoresistor. Components, one Arduino Uno board, one USB data cable, one photoresistor, one buzzer active buzzer, one resistor with 10 kilo ohms value, several jumper wires, and a breadboard. Experimental principle, when you shine some light on the photoresistor, if the incident light gets stronger, the resistance of the photoresistor will decrease. If the incident light becomes weaker, the resistance will increase. In this experiment, the output of the photoresistor is sent to pin A0 or analog input 0 on the Arduino Uno board and then processed by the ADC on the board to output a digital signal. We use this signal as the parameter of the delay function in the sketch to make the buzzer beep. When the incident light is strong, the output volume gets greater, thus the buzzer will beep slowly. When the incident light is weak, the output volume is smaller, thus the, the buzzer will beep sharply. Experimental Procedures Step 1. Build a circuit. So this will be our circuit. This will be our schematic diagram. For step 2, we need to prepare the program. So please refer to the example code. Step 3. Compile the code and step 4. Upload the sketch to the Arduino Uno board. Now, if you place the photoresistor in a dark environment, the buzzer will beep sharply. If you shine a flashlight on the photoresistor, the buzzer beeping will slow down. So this will be the connection and we'll follow this later. What's up guys? Welcome to our lesson number 10, controlling a buzzer by a photoresistor. So these are the things that we need. Of course, the photoresistor. We have here the 220 ohms resistor. We have here a buzzer, connecting wires, breadboard, and the Arduino Uno. Now let's build the circuit. You need to uh, try to see wh whether um, this side is the positive or the negative side. For this buzzer, you can see that there is a plus sign for the side which is um, considered as positive. Okay, so. Let's put it on the breadboard. Let's just try to remember. So if we put it this way, we can see that, like if we put it this way, we can see that the positive side, let's put the, a wire here so we can um, in line the wires and then the other side is the negative one and then let's put the buzzer so now we attach the buzzer on our breadboard next um, we have this photoresistor let's put it this way let's attach the Twenty twenty ohms resistor, and now we connect it to Arduino Uno. First, let's try to create a common ground for Arduino and the buzzer. So let's put this on the ground. Let's put it on this line, so we have a common ground. And the ground for for this buzzer will be here also. So that's in line with our ground here. This line is connected to each other. Straight line. And now, um, let's put the positive side of the buzzer to pin number 9. Let's connect um, the other side of this resistor here to the ground. So it's in blue line. And then, um, Let's connect this side here of the photoresistor to pin A0 of the Arduino Uno here. This is pin A0. You can see the analog. The first one is the A0. And then let's connect this side here. As you can see this side. 
in line to the 5 volts. So again, our connection is the buzzer is on pin number 9. Pin number 9 of the Arduino. Here, pin number 9. Um, the photoresistor is connected to pin A0. So let's try if this project works, okay? Let's plug in. And now you can hear a uh, ticking sound from our buzzer. Let's try to increase the intensity of light using the flashlight of my cell phone so if there is light on the photoresistor then as you can hear there is less sound or ticking from the buzzer but if we try to cover the photoresistor which means it's dark already then the sound increases Can you hear that? If we remove our thumb here little by little and if we have a very um, intense light on our photoresistor There is a minimal sound. Tick tock, tick tock, tick. But it, when it's dark again, and that's it. That's how you control the buzzer by a photoresistor.